Now the Bible reveals in 1 Kings 8.46 that there is no man who does not sin. And Psalm 143 verse 2 says, No man living is righteous. You see the problem already? Ecclesiastes 7.20 says, There is not a righteous man on the earth who continually does good and who never sins. Again, there is not a righteous man on the earth who continually does good and who never sins. Isaiah 59, 2 says, And your iniquities have made a separation between you and your God, and your sins have hidden his face so that he does not hear. Isaiah 64, 6 says, All of us have become like one who is unclean, and all our righteous deeds are like a filthy garment, and all of us wither like a leaf, and our iniquities like the wind take us away. Now notice here he says, all our righteous deeds are like a filthy garment. And the literal Hebrew reads, all of our righteous deeds are like a menstrual rag. That's what it literally reads. And so this communicates to us that if we were to take all of our best efforts, all of our good production, and take it and put it into a bag and bring it to God and demand its trade-in value, uh, it would be worth one menstrual rags. Romans 3.10 says there is none righteous, not even one. Romans 3.23 says all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. 1 John 1.8, talking to believers, John says if we say that we have no sin, we are deceiving ourselves and the truth is not in us. You see, now John here, when he uses the word sin, he uses the Greek noun hamartia, the Greek noun hamartia, from which we get the word for sin. And if you ever study systematic theology, you will at some point cover the doctrine of hamartiology, which is the study of sin. But when he says we have no sin, the sin thing here, because a noun is a person, place, or thing, he's talking about the sin nature. But then in verse 10, he says, if we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. The word sin there translates the Greek verb hamartano, and that speaks of the production of sin from the source of our volition. Solomon asked the question in Proverbs 20, verse 9, who can say, and this would include everybody, who can say, I have cleansed my heart, I am pure from my sin? And the answer to that, no one. We are also sinners by nature, Paul says in Romans 7, uh, 18, For I know that nothing good dwells in me that is in my flesh. Now, as a believer, we have two natures. We have the fallen nature and the new nature. He says, For the willing is present in me, but the doing of the good is not. For the good that I want to do, I do not do, but I practice the very evil that I do not want. But if I am doing the very thing I do not want to do, I am no longer the one doing it. But notice, but sin which dwells in me. And then verse 21, he says, I find then the principle that evil is present in me, the one who wants to do good. 